Neighbors, hello. Actually, you know, after you live in Korea for a little bit, you stop giving people hugs. You give a little bit of distance and you just look at each other and you go, bye, hello, hi. When we first started the channel, we did one of the classic uh, Korean style bibimbaps. There's a lot of ingredients. But for me, even still to this day, when I think about bibimbap, I think about a lot of prep. You know, there's a lot of ingredients. You got to like stir fry this, this and that. So today I'm going to show you like when you crave bibimbap, something that you can use, um, a recipe that you can just whip up that requires a few ingredients, just a minimal, and a very quick way to get all of the ingredients ready. So we're gonna use the microwave, we're gonna um, boil really quickly, and then just toss all of this in, in a very Korean style marinade, bring everything together, and you're gonna get a delicious bibimbap. Satiate that, that craving within, I'd say 10, if you're a little bit slow, 15 minutes. Okay, so first right. step, we're going to work with our beef, and today, instead of stir frying it, Actually, let me show you the three ingredients that we're gonna to use today. There's gonna to be thin slices of beef. This is sirloin. Then some spinach. I got the baby kind. And the third ingredient for some crunchy texture, sukju, which is mung bean sprouts. For today, instead of stir frying, we're gonna blanch them like shabu shabu style. Just minimal amount of water. I mean, if you've been to shabu shabu, you had hot pot, you know how delicious that meat is, right? That's the reason why that disappears first. So just a little bit of water, about one and a half cups. So just to add a little bit of flavor to water, I'm gonna put it about um, a third teaspoon, small tea, of chicken stock powder, okay? But Daniel, I wanna make this and I don't have any chicken stock in my pantry. That's fine, just add a, a third teaspoon of salt. Just so we get a little bit of seasoning. Use the smallest pot you have. We wanna blanch these guys in the smallest amount of water we can. All right, just detangling it a little bit. All right, beautiful, put in each piece. Shabu shabu time. Shabu shabu time. Gonna try to lose, use less oil in this one. Oh, so healthier version. Yeah. Nice. Well, I don't know if it's for health, but this tastes really good too. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm putting it into a little um, thing like this. All right, now you see the sauce getting all thick. This is when the beef starts tasting really good. All right, that's it. Technically, if you want to use this boiled beef for a different dish, you can save all the leftovers in this juice and it tastes a lot better. We'll store up to a week in Tupperware in the refrigerator. But I'm gonna toss this out because uh, you're gonna need all of it now. Starting off with one tablespoon of gochujang, gochujang paste, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, one, two, followed by one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce. That's one. Another half. One and a half in total. Look at that. It's a modern art here. Two teaspoons of sesame seeds. That's right. And then with the addition of sesame seeds. That looks good enough. Give it a nice mix. Give it a little taste. Now we'll add in our beef. Okay. Yes. All right. And that's going to be our beef topping. 200 grams of mung bean sprouts. I'm gonna give these guys a quick wash. I would want a little bit of moisture on them as well as cleaning them. All right, one more time. Very good. For our spinach, how about around 80 grams? Give these guys a quick chop at the end. Spinach tends to be pretty dirty. Get all that dirt, so let's give them a nice bath again. Beautiful, nice and clean. We'll put our mung bean sprouts to one side and our spinach to another. Put some saran wrap. And what I'm doing is I'm steaming our vegetables. We're not boiling them or else they're gonna be filled with water. Instead, we're gonna steam them. One extra top. And we're gonna put this in the microwave for three minutes. Three minutes. That was three minutes. Check, 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 check it out. Ooh, it's hot. That worked beautifully. The colors are still there. I want you to give the bean sprouts a try. That should have a little bit of crunch. If you feel like they're a little bit too raw, put it back in the microwave for about 30 seconds or maybe up to a minute. Now for our sauce, we're gonna do one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Add some salt, about one third teaspoon. And then I want about a half teaspoon of minced garlic. We gotta get some of that namul flavor in to our veggies. And then finally some freshly cracked pepper, black pepper. Mix it up. Now this may not seem like a lot, but it goes a long way. Ooh, almost a mistake. There's still water here, so definitely just want to lift it. Don't get any of the residual water. No good. The spinach, I'd give a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, and then add. And then just mix it into our marinade. 
and there is our vegetable mixture that we're gonna eat. <laughs> Let me give this a little taste. You hear that crunch? Perfect. I'm gonna just add a few pinch of salt, it's slightly bland, all right? And remember, we're also gonna add some gochujang sauce at the end to mix everything together. So a little bit on the under seasoned is good. Of course, let's get a little bit of the egg, a little bit of salt, a little black pepper. Been trying to use the rest up of this uh, shichimi, Japanese uh, spice. Ah, that looks delicious. All right. Scoop up some rice, y'all. If you don't have a rice cooker at home, I think that's probably the best purchase you can make. We generally just cook rice. We don't make porridge. We don't use it as a, um, what do you call it? As like those ninja ones where you can cook all sorts of stuff. We don't do that, just cook rice. Then our steamed sprouts and spinach. Then of course our delicious meat all the way on top. We'll wow, put that. that looks super delicious. Right? Mm. I call you the egg master. Of course, a little bit of green onions on top. And then we need a little bit of gochujang. That's up to you how much you want to use. I'm doing about a tablespoon. All right, and neighbors, there it is. Dun, da, 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 da. Very nice. That yolk is so appealing. You know what we got to do though? We got to get a little bit of sesame oil because once we mix in that gochujang, that, that, um, that nutty oil is going to bring everything together. All right, guys, just a drizzle. A little bit of that. And then, Katie, can I get another tada? Tada! Into this. With the yolk. Yeah, that way we get spice everywhere. No, I mix with um, chopsticks. I've been doing that my whole life. Remember, you gotta get this gochujang in because this provides a lot of the seasoning. Gochujang is slightly salty, while earthy. Mogobulkayo. How is it? Really? It's delicious! Really? Oh my goodness. Mmm! It's so good! Mmm! Pibimbap can be made very quickly like this. And if you want to go for maximum flavor, like you know at the end, we just flavored with raw gochujang, like out of the tub. It'll give a more earthy taste, like it's something that's impromptu. We're going for speed and quickness. But again, if you want to go for flavor, that um, Pibimbap sauce that we made in our original recipe, use that at the end and it will be like next level. But then again, that will take, you know, more um, yeah. time. But so. if all you have is just the gochujang, like yeah. this. Something right from the store. Uh -huh. And then you don't want to make a big deal. Yeah. Then just use this and you will still get a delicious bibimbap. It's delicious. <laughs> Did you see that whip? That's actually really tenjang jjigae, Katie. Look. And then we've got tenjang jjigae. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a true home style cooking. That's right. Hey, you know, if we meet our American friends, we always go, hey, how are you? Say uh, hi in or Korea? bye to our Korean friends. What do we say? We stay. Bye. Yeah, we stay right in front and go, bye. <laughs> I'll see you next time. No touching. No touching. <laughs> Bye! Bye, see you guys.